Hey, what's up everyone, Oliver here. So I've spoken about Apple's refurbishment program before in the past, you know how I've purchased my MacBook from there. And I don't think enough people know about it. And I also don't think people know what the process is like and, and what it's like to buy a refurbished product from Apple. Because I think a lot of people, when they think about refurbished products, they think of them as like used or, or not very good conditions, maybe a few marks and scuffs or whatever. However, Apple's refurbishment program is, is pretty incredible and it's, it's probably by far one of the best that I've seen anyway. So to actually get to their refurbishment program, they usually have a small little link in the footer that says like refurbishment or clearance or something like that. And from there, you can basically have a look at what's available. I was very recently in the market for an iPad Pro. I was waiting for the 2018 iPad Pro 11 inch one in space gray to come up and I found one. However, they do go very, very quickly. So if you find something on there, it might be gone by the next day, you know, so you got to act quite quickly. It might even be gone by the end of the day. So yeah, if you find something on there that you want, you pretty much have to purchase it right there and then so you don't miss out. So as I mentioned, I was in the market for an iPad Pro. I was looking for an 11 inch one, space gray, 64 gig. I wasn't too fussed about the actual storage size, um, but I just wanted to basically just make a good saving. For an 11 inch iPad Pro 64 gigabyte, you're looking at 769 pounds for a new one from Apple. But if you go for a refurbished one, you're actually only going to be paying 649. So you're saving 120 pounds, which I think is a massive saving. That's quite a lot of money to save on an iPad, considering, especially because it's an iPad Pro, you know, the iPad Pro is, probably the best iPad, the best tablet on the market right now. So I purchased it when I saw it and it came the next day and the packaging experience is a little bit different. So the box itself is basically a very plain iPad box, you know, it just has iPad Pro written on it. Um, you know, all Apple products, all refurbished Apple products look like this. They don't have an image like they usually do on the, on like if you bought it new pretty much. And on the bottom, there's a little label that says Apple certified refurbished. But everything else in the box is exactly the same. It feels like you get a new product, you know, it's packaged up exactly the same. It comes in this nice plastic wrapping and whatever else. And you also get the USB cable and you get the charger, everything else that you would expect. You also still get the one year warranty as well from Apple that you would get with a brand new product. And you get pretty much everything else that you would get with a new brand new Apple product. You know, you can basically schedule a session if you want to learn how to use your iPad, all that sort of stuff when you buy any new Apple product. So I've purchased a MacBook before and now I've just purchased the iPad Pro. And you know, unboxing the iPad Pro, getting it out, it looks absolutely brand new. I can't remember exactly what Apple changed when they sell refurbished products. I have a feeling it's the outer casing and the battery. Everything else in the iPad itself stays the same. But yeah, they give you like an outer, a new outer casing, a new battery. I'll make sure to actually have a look and put it on the screen um, to let you know what it is they actually change. Um, because I think it does differ from product to product as well. But yeah, it looks absolutely brand new and it's absolutely fantastic. I love it um, and I'm pretty happy with my purchase so far. You know, if you're not in the market for a brand new latest generation Apple product, it's probably worth looking at a previous one, one that's a year or two old, and then looking on Apple's refurbished section to see if you can find what you're looking for to see if you can find what you want. Now, I know some of you will be asking, why did I go for a 2018 iPad Pro when Apple are most likely going to announce a new one later this year? Well, the main reason was I don't really care too much about having the latest and greatest when it comes to iPads. You know, iPads last two, three, four, five years quite easily. Um, you know, they're very powerful uh, tablets and you can use them for quite a while. And obviously I wanted to save a lot of money. You know, I wanted to use that saving, the 120 pound saving and get an Apple Pencil 2. I wanted to be able to have the iPad Pro and an Apple Pencil 2 for the same amount that it would be just to get an iPad Pro brand new. And as I mentioned, you know, getting a refurbished product, it just looks as new as you would get it if you bought it new. There really isn't any difference whatsoever. I mean, I haven't been able to tell any difference from all the refurbished products that I've bought over the years. So yeah, I feel like it's fantastic. So yeah, just a quick video showing you the sort of refurbished program, my experience with it. And you know, if you're looking to save some money, have a look, see if you can find something that you're looking for and get it at a discount, whether it be an iMac, MacBook, iPhone, whatever you're looking for, iPad, you know, you can you can make quite a bit of a saving. So hopefully you guys enjoy this video. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter and subscribe for more.